From forest ponds to swamps and marshes, sphagnum bogs and temporary spring pools. New England's forest wetlands are an important link between land and water, providing habitat for wildlife and essential ecosystem services that filter and protect our water supply. Wetlands are some of the most productive habitats on Earth. Rich organic material trapped in living vegetation provides nutrients to wetland plants and feeds many microbes, small fish, aquatic insects, and shellfish. These in turn feed larger fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Many aquatic insects and amphibians rely on wetlands for all or part of their life cycles. Waterfowl and some songbirds nest exclusively in these habitats. This diverse community of life is under threat, from development efforts that drain or fill wetlands to make way for buildings, roads, and parking lots, and from invasive organisms that disrupt the habitat and crowd out native species. Wetlands play a critical role in the ecology of watersheds and the services they provide. Forest streams tumble down from New England's hills and mountains into rivers, lakes, and the natural wetlands that often form along their margins. Wetland vegetation acts like a natural sponge that traps and holds water. Because wetlands can both store large quantities of water and slow down its flow, they help to reduce erosion and flooding. But an even more essential service of wetlands is their capacity to filter out sediment, excess nutrients, and contaminants. Water that is passed through a wetland and soaks into the ground, or leaves through an exiting stream or river, is markedly cleaner and clearer. Although wetlands filter and purify water, their capacity to deal with water load and contaminants is not limitless. Many of New England's forest wetlands and the services they provide are threatened by pollution and excessive runoff, caused by deforestation and development.